Hello, it's Dr. Triple Seven, and in today's video, I'm doing an application for Windows 8 review. It's called Start Menu 8. This is probably my favorite Windows Start Menu for Windows 8 that I have seen so far. Again, it replaces the Metro screen. Now, people ask me, do I actually use it? Probably, I have to say no. Do I use it sometimes? Yes. I use it for things like the shutdown button right here. I use it for the mail and messaging app, but besides that, I don't really use that often. As you can tell, I don't put a lot of effort into it to actually make it look good at all. I rarely ever use it. I've tried things like the Jetpack Joyride game and Fruit Ninja. I like them on the big screen, but it's just not the same using a mouse as compared to touching the screen as I do not have a touchscreen monitor. So again, I am running this on desktop computer. So I'm using a mouse. Now for people that have a touchscreen device, this, this is probably a much different story, but for me personally, that's how I see it. So Start Menu 8 is a free alternative to your problem. Um, I think it's an actually great application. It's probably my favorite Start Menu, and I'll show you guys why later in the video. So if you go ahead to the below link, you can click free download, and then click download now, then it'll start the download. It's a small 4.5 megabyte file, and it only takes about 16 megabytes of your hard drive. So it's a pretty small um, usage. Go to Accept, click Next, and uncheck this unless you actually want the application. So now I'll show you guys what the general settings mean. So first we have Run Windows Startup. This basically means when the computer first turns on, do you want to have it on right away? We also have Skip Metro Screen which basically means our Metro screen is skipped. If you actually hate it that much, you can have it skip right away and you basically will never see it. You can de deactivate the hot corners, which is basically the things in the corner which you can quickly skip to. By default, it is deactivated and is also recommended because some of them are in the corner where you can click. All right, so the start button, the cool thing with this program, you can actually choose your own start button. So you can choose different ones like this. So you can see in the corner there. Or if you prefer the classic one, there you go. You also have the option to go more fantastic skin, skins and you can find some more that you actually like. The menu, you have different options as if you're Windows 7 so you can see the recent items, show as link, show as menu, blah, blah, blah. User interface, this is pretty cool. You get to choose your style, how it's um, organized, and you can also choose your own image as your profile picture. So for me, I can pick this like whatever one I prefer. So I'll do this, like Nexus logo, for example. Boom. So I'll show you guys the Windows 8 style first. I'll hit apply and OK. Now I'll show you guys. Boom. It looks pretty close to an actual real Windows 7 start menu, and everything works perfectly. I've tried this program for a couple days and it's absolutely great. And when you click the start menu or start button on your keyboard, it also opens up. So it's a pretty cool application and the coolest feature about it, in my opinion, is one thing that separates it from the competition is the ability to switch to Metro. You click that, it will actually open up the Metro. So if you have a certain reason to go to Metro, you can instantly skip right to it. So it works perfectly. It works just as if it was a Windows 7 one, and I think it's a really cool application. To adjust its settings, you just all, all you gotta do is right click it, and you have different options here. You can click settings, and you can go to the user interface and change it to the Windows 7 style if you prefer. And okay. And it's a slightly different style. So that's about it for this review guys. One last thing I want to show you is if, just like Windows 7, if you prefer having a different option right here, you can change that as well. So like I said guys, it acts and looks just like the Windows 7 one. It's probably my favorite for Windows 8 that I've seen so far. Let me know what you guys think below. And if you enjoyed the video, thumbs it up and share with your friends if you think this program will be useful for them too. Anyways guys, that's about for this video. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next one. This is the Hacker Triple 07, and I'm signing off.